All right, so I uh, talked earlier about spare magazines. So first of all, let me state this. If you carry a firearm concealed in a concealed carry capacity or an open carry capacity for that matter, I can't really see the logic of carrying a firearm without carrying a spare mag for it. There's a litany of reasons. Um, one, malfunction, double, I mean, we, the list goes on and on. But more importantly, at the end of the day, that gun is only useful for as long as it has rounds for it. So carrying that single magazine in the gun, you're taking a big risk. You're taking the risk that that's all you need. Now, you gotta draw a line somewhere. Do you need three extra magazines? Hmm, maybe, I don't know. That goes back to what I was talking about earlier with the different levels of risk. If I'm in an area that has what I consider to be a relatively high level of risk, I'll carry up to two extra magazines. Uh, I don't think I've ever carried three. I think I've only ever carried two. Um, but again, it's something to weigh out. That being said, I always carry at least one spare magazine across the board. And for the reasons I listed previously, how do I carry that uh, single spare magazine? Well, a couple options, some older school ones and then a newer school one uh, that I recently got introduced to and I like a lot. So kind of the older method is, you know, kind of the standard inside the waistband. Um, actually, I'll take the big one. You know, the standard inside the waistband single mag. Okay, so I got one here for the Glock 19 and then I got a different one here for the Glock 43. Now, two different widths of uh, magazine, so two different Kydex uh, mag carriers. What I got introduced to recently, that's pretty sweet, is this. This is called the Neo Mag. Um, doesn't look like much, and when I first saw it, I said, wow, what's that? Um, then I started playing around with it, and it's super cool. So first of all, one of its advantages is this is a Glock 43 mag. Yep, takes that fine. This is a Glock 19 mag. Takes that fine. I can adjust the height automatically. Okay, and the, mag uh, the magnet, excuse me, the magnet is strong enough to hold this. Um, what it's adhering to essentially is the metal lining within the Glock magazine, or obviously it's a metal magazine that goes without saying. But what's cool about this thing is whether it's a single stack or a double stack, it doesn't affect this because it has no width characteristics. Uh, because it has no width characteristics. So what's cool about this is you put it in your pocket, so it looks like a knife clip. Then you take your magazine, and then, boom, it is locking right there onto the, the magazine. So it's a good way to carry it. When I grab it to pull it out, it's coming straight out. Okay, with the Glock 43 mag, same thing. I'm locking it in, okay? It's hiding just below, just below the, the pocket lining. And then when I need to reload, I just grab it and pull it straight out. It's very quick, um, very easy, and uh, pretty cool. You can also, you don't have to run this in a pocket. You can pull it out, clip it on, and you can run the same thing inside the waistband. So that mag is now hiding below my pant line. And I grab it, it's coming straight out. So you can wear it in the pocket, uh, inside the waistband and it doesn't matter. And again, this is clipped directly to my pants. Um, if I wanted to, I could go around my belt. Again, it's just giving you options. But this is a pretty cool um, little device that I uh, got introduced to recently and I really dig it. Again, just gives me more options and options are good.